It's about 4,000 RPM. In Turkey. Jerky, I haven't really optimized the algorithm to uh, control the precession, control the, the servo. There's the L298 motor driver. Arduino Uno, uh, a uh, high quality potentiometer. It actually uses a magnet, magnet, and uh, a Hall effect uh, IC. So uh, there's very little resistance when you turn it. And then uh, this is my homemade server, servo, it's a motor, DC motor, it's geared, about 5 to 1 ratio, connected directly to the, the uh, gimbal. It's a little noisy. This is a lot of torque there. We're in about 6,500 6, RPM. adjustable power supply. And this motor is a 550 size DC motor, runs from 6 to 12 volts. And I'll shut it off. explain how the gyroscope works. I'm trying to do it with one hand here. Alright, the gyroscope is 
composed of two parts, a rotor and a motor. And this rotor was uh, machined out of aluminum. Um, it's uh, 10 centimeters in diameter and one and a half centimeters in width. It weighs about 360 grams. And it's connected to a 550 DC motor, 12 volt motor. It spins without a load, spins at about 11 or 18,000 RPM. Uh, for the purposes of my gyroscope here, it spins from anywhere from 4,000 to about 8,000 RPM. Um, and it's connected with a brass adapter. Not an ideal situation. Ideally, uh, the rotor should be connected directly to the shaft of the motor to prevent vibration problems. Mine has a little vibration problem, not too bad, but it's mostly as a result of the, the, this 5 millimeter shaft doesn't fit exactly tight. It, it's not a press fit into the, into the rotor, so there's a little play there, so a little vibration. Anyway, um, you can make a gyroscope self-balance a vehicle. Uh, without any electronics and I've done that um, if you build everything perfectly straight and there's no friction in the gimbal and there's enough uh, momentum in the flywheel uh, it will balance without any other electronics just the motor and the rotor unfortunately if there's any uh, force applied uh, to the vehicle it will probably lose its balance and so you need active control of some kind to control the precession of the gyroscope. Now I'll talk about precession a little bit. Precession is this little uh, movement that a gyroscope or a top makes when it's spinning. It's a, a little circle that it describes and you can kind of see it it's like this the tip of the axle uh, describes a little circle and you need to control that somehow um, and so that's the purpose of the electronics here and I'll explain each part in detail another point about a gyroscope self-balancing a vehicle is the gyroscope it has to be top heavy. In other words, there has to be more weight on the top of the gyroscope than on the bottom. That's the only way that precession will work. If you have the bottom heavy, if the, the, the bottom is heavier than the top, then there's no precession. It, it's impossible to balance it. Um, so this one uh, is uh, top heavy and uh, that's what allows this natural precession cycle to take place. Um, what happens though with the gyroscope is if the vehicle starts falling to one side, the gimbal will tilt back, tilt down. And so to correct that, you need to apply a force to the gimbal so that it tilts the vehicle back up and there, thereby the gimbal comes centered again. And that's the whole purpose is to keep this gimbal uh, centered uh, and then that will keep the vehicle balanced. What is not intuitive is if it falls to one side, the vehicle falls to one side and the gimbal falls down in this direction, to correct that you need to apply a downward force. In other words, the, the force, the motor needs to pull the gimbal down and then that will apply a corrective force to the whole vehicle and pull it back up. So it's not very intuitive. Uh, you would think that you'd apply an upward force, but in fact, if it's falling this direction, you apply a downward force. And it's the opposite if it falls forward on the other side. You apply 
an upward force with the motor and then it will correct it. And so what the motor has to do is a pretty simple. It's not very complex. Um, uh, so let me explain the parts, uh, the electronic parts. Um, first talk about a servo. You could attach a servo directly to the gimbal, uh, to this part here. You could attach a servo, but the problem is most servos have so much resistance and you have to allow that this, uh, this uh, gimbal to move freely. Um, if there's any resistance at all, it will not balance. There's no way. Um, so what I have here is I have a servo, or all the components of a servo, they're just not together in one box. A servo has three components. It has gears, it has a motor, and it has a potentiometer. Here I've spread the parts all apart. Uh, so the potentiometer is to measure the angle of the gimbal and then uh, the, the motor applies an upward or a downward force and since I'm using a 5 to 1 gear ratio uh, the motor can apply a force very easily um, but if the motor is turned off the gimbal is still allowed to freely move and so I'm allowed to freely precess. Um, so uh, that's basically how this thing works and then the Arduino just controls the signal that goes to the motor and says uh, pull up pull down pull up pull down. Uh, the trick that I learned is that if you're applying a force you can't apply a constant force you have to apply a 50 millisecond force and then shut the motor off so that the the gyroscope is free to precess back to its normal position. So if it's falling down like this, I apply a 50 millisecond force downward with the motor and then shut the motor off and then it's allowed to freely precess back and the opposite with the other direction. And that's basically how this thing works. Um, I will apply, I will uh, put a link in the description to a wonderful little book that explains how all of this is working uh, from someone else who builds mono, mono uh, rail trains um, and I just like to say that I'm really interested in gyroscopes because they're kind of magical um, here's my uh, another project uh, which a lot of people build it's a self-balancing robot and it just uses friction to uh, friction of the wheels against the chassis to balance it but here it's a magical process it's this this uh, gyroscope is an anti-gravity machine of sorts even though it still relies on friction um, and I like that and it's it's when you see this thing correcting itself and keeping balance it's it provides a, a Harry a Harry Potter moment um, it's just uh, really magical and it's I don't know any a better word to describe how a gyroscope works future changes uh, future versions I want to try a smaller motor I think it'll be more efficient um, and add wheels and see if we can get this this two-wheeler to actually uh, drive someplace. Thanks for listening.